Hey guys, recently some of you have noticed that I have been using a different overlays in my race videos. That is correct and your comments about it actually inspired me to make a video about this overlay that I'm using now because it's free and it's really really good. Uh, there's a lot of features in it, I think it has a lot of potential. We'll get into that in a second. For a little bit of background, for those of you who don't know, overlays are essentially, it's a program that essentially allows you to have a bunch of information on your screen, like a standings table, you can have a relative box, you can have a radar, a track map, and all these other things that the iRacing UI does not offer out of the box. Now, I have been a long time user of RaceLab. I really like RaceLab, it's highly customizable, uh, it's feature packed, uh, I, I really like it. And I also pay for it. I pay about three odd euros per month for the full functionality and I genuinely think that it's worth it. But recently I have been doing a little bit of research because I have been wondering might there be other um, overlays out there that are free and that are also very good. And I just thought I would take a look and obviously there's some really popular options are out there. You can get caps, uh, which I believe is free now, used to be paid. Um, and there's also SimHub. Now, I was curious to see if there was maybe something else that's not as popular, uh, just out of curiosity. And I actually ended up finding an absolutely superb overlay program, which is called I overlay. Let's get right into it. And all right, so this is the I overlay website. You can get here by going to ioverlay.app in your browser. You can download the program here. It's extremely simple. You download it, you get an executable file, which is the installer. Uh, Windows, by the way, might tell you that it's unsafe. It did with me, but it's not unsafe. Uh, just run it anyway, and it'll be perfectly fine. And uh, essentially, it's a customizable relative, standing, radar, multi-class traffic, indicator, track map, flat map, and a simple Twitch integration. What do you wish more for free? That's a fair question, because uh, there's features in this that are actually paid features on Race Labs, but this is for free. So I was really pleased to see that, and this is also why I'm recommending it. Now, the interesting thing I have to say is that, well, you, so you, you need to activate the program. And as you can see up top here, it says you have to go under Discord channel to get your activation key, which is free for now. Now, I'm not sure for how long I overlay is going to stay free. As you can see here, it's still in beta, but for the time being, it's free. And so that makes it an absolute bargain for us. There's nothing to lose in giving it a shot and seeing if you like it. Now, once you register in their Discord channel, you have to go over to the license requests uh, channel you just type exclamation mark license in the chat and then the license bot gives you a code and once you get your license code from the bot all you have to do is you go over to the i overlay uh, app which is this mine is already activated all you have to do is put in the code and then it's gonna look something like this now, there is a lot of features here. You've got, well, you've got general settings, right? So here you can choose the general font, uh, the font weight, the size of the overlays, the opacity, the color. Uh, you can put your Twitch channel name. There's other uh, settings here related to FPS, uh, the setting what it does on startup and all this kind of stuff. It has a very practical way of arranging your overlays on the screen. By the way, like once you select the overlays that you want, all you do is press F6. And as you can see, uh, it shows you where the overlays are on the screen and then you can literally just move them around with like a drag and a drop, which is a very nice, intuitive and easy way to move overlays around. Then, the features that you're gonna get here are uh, standings, table, 
which is super highly customizable. You've got a ton of data that you can put into it. One nice touch is that you can actually select what data you want to be visible in race, in quality and in practice. So depending on the session that you're in, you can have your customized uh, overlays. You can customize the header of the standings as well. Uh, once again, you can do that per session, as you can see here, and you've got a ton of data that you can uh, pull up on the screen. You've got relative board, uh, of course, as well. So it's very similar to standings. You've got a ton of information that you can stick in it. Um, there's a fuel calculator, which is extremely useful if you're doing races that have pit stops or like endurance and stuff like that. You've got yourself a spotter. Essentially, these are two bars that show you if there's cars alongside you. This type of feature is paid over at race lab so yeah if you want this uh, th this uh, this spotter bars and you want to get that for free well one option to do that is here on iOverlay. you've got yourself a pit helper uh, there's inputs and like an input graph same story as the spotter this is a paid feature in race lab but it's free here You've got yourself a traffic indicator, flat map, a track map. Great way uh, I overlay to get yourself a free track map as well. And then you even have a Twitch chat uh, integration. So the interesting thing here is that it's a very streamer friendly. Yeah, and also it works in VR. So if you go to the general tab here and you check out the uh, this, this button at the bottom, uh, there is Oculus VR compatibility. So that's quite nice. And finally, one very very interesting feature of this overlay is that it has a race control panel in this panel and right now it's empty because i'm not in a race i'm not in a session but if you join like an open practice lobby or if you join a race in this window you're gonna have information about the other drivers live info about the other drivers which means that if you pull this like on a second screen you can see the interval you can see the gap um the live button here allows you to basically um like if you click on the live per um other driver it takes you to their camera so that's actually very useful for spectators as well and uh, here there's a feature called replay and underneath replay you can see replays of uh, other drivers crashes there is literally the possibility to click on crash per driver and it takes you to like their most recent crash or to a crash that they've had. And that's really uh, useful for content creators. Here you also have the possibility to create a highlight. So yeah, it's um, this overlay, I overlay race control thing. It really surprised me. It works very well and it's really interesting. So yeah, uh, these are the features of I overlay in a nutshell. And uh, from what I've seen on their Discord channel, it's a wonderful community. Uh, the founder and the guys working there seem to be super nice. They're in the mix, just having conversations with everyone, listening to feedback. And they've got a Trello board, which is accessible through their Discord channel, where they basically um, list all feature requests that you can see here in this huge column. All these feature requests came from the community on the Discord channel and they just list them all here. They've got a whole pipeline and then here you can see what they're working on currently, what they're testing. It's all very transparent and yeah, I think it's uh, very, very neat. And that's pretty much it guys. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. If you want to get yourself a nice, free, user-friendly, feature-packed overlay for iRacing, consider iOverlay guys. And uh, if you end up using this overlay, do consider donating uh, a few euros or dollars uh, to their um, Buy Me A Coffee page because, yeah, right now the entire thing is basically free and, yeah. So, if you find this video useful, guys, consider supporting me by um, uh, subscribing or leaving a like or leaving a comment. Let me know in the comments what kind of overlay you use and what overlay you prefer. And if you do end up using iOverlay, let me know your thoughts. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed guys and see you in the next one. Take care.